Today, agricultural production across the globe is under increased pressure from changes in environment and food supply chain issues. As the conversation around food security becomes more urgent, scientists are creating new seed development methods which include sending seeds to cultivate in outer space. This space breeding method, known as space mutagenesis, sends seeds for a short trip into the cosmos before cultivating new varieties of crops. Space breeding takes advantage of the weightlessness and microgravity of outer space, which prompts the seeds to change after passing through the vacuum of space and strong radiation. High energy solar particles and cosmic rays damage the genetic material of the seeds themselves, causing genetic mutations or chromosomal changes. When the seeds are sent back to Earth, they sprout new varieties that are different from other Earth-bound varieties. Experts say genetically mutated seeds generally produce larger fruits, consume less water, tolerate high and low temperatures, and resist pests and diseases. In some cases, rare genetic mutations can lead to big breakthroughs in crop yields and disaster resistance. In the vast fields of northeast China, there's a new wheat plant cultivated in space called Luoyuan 502. Under the unique low gravity of space, the DNA of the wheat seed undergoes subtle changes and can become more drought and pest resistant. More and more, China's massive agriculture industry has been leaning into mutation seed space breeding. After the first space-based mutagenesis experiment of crops was started in 1987, China has continuously sent seeds or seedlings into the universe. In addition to wheat, a team of Chinese scientists has also used space seeds to cultivate new varieties of rice, corn, soybean, sesame, cotton, watermelon, and tomatoes. Research on food grown in space is also helping astronauts become self-sufficient during space missions. With the progress of the aerospace industry in various countries around the globe, it's possible that we might see more and more plants and seeds on Earth take a trip into outer space. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere.